recent videos, I went through my entire makeup drawer and at the moment it's just looking very, very sad and empty. But, never the good news, mum has given me an early birthday present and that early birthday present is a makeup shopping spree. I also decided to take you along, of course, on my shopping spree. I'm going to have a quick shower because I just did the gym and had a walk. So, yeah. Dress, I'm wearing the no statement great tracksuit. Um, I really really do recommend no statement. No makeup Makeup. It does make a pretty good difference. Like I'm not complaining I'm on my way to the shops and I'm going to get some ingredients because I'm gonna be making guinea pig sushi and Also getting a green juice and I'm also gonna buy a bunch of stuff so I can DIY something because I want to feel like creating something I have to go at 11 So I still have a bunch of time like four hours to do whatever I want I'm gonna have like a picnic too and study I don't know why but I feel like I study better and like just plan better when I'm not in a house I found a couple of new youtubers that I really like watching I think when you surround yourself with people, you kind of turn into them. And I think about our generation now, you watch people and you kind of turn into them even more because you get like inspired because you think they're kind of cool. But some people just aren't the best. And I think I started turning into the people I was watching too much. Here we are at the grocery shop. Okay, we're at the shops. I've got my little basket. I'm gonna buy all the ingredients I need. I'm making guinea pig sushi. So I don't know, there's not really ingredients, but I just have to like find things that I think are being guinea pig sushi. And I'm also going to buy some stuff I can DIY because I'm going to try to create something. A lot of the time, I'll only buy a magazine for like the little gift that comes inside. Like when I was little, I would only buy it for like the toys that came inside it. Goal is to buy like a cute wrapping paper. I'm going to wrap up like a cardboard box or something in it. It's going to be, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet, but like I'll get an idea if I look at something. The one thing is it needs to be cute. Also, do you think I should do like a self-care shopping video, but like a part two? Because last time I did, I feel like I did it very wrong. I went to like go to like places like Target and Big W and like, or even like Coles and like find stuff there. And just like, it's more like restocking like on stuff like deodorant and things like that. And I feel like I did it all wrong. So I kind of want to do it again. I want to find something better than this. Last time I set up a tripod shot like that, someone walked past and I was like, oh, sorry. And they're like, oh yeah, as you should. I was like a grown man too. Like it kind of freaked me out and now I haven't done that since. So I think I'm just going to use the wrapping paper that we've already got at home. I think I'm going to get this food tray for my sushi plate for my guinea piggies. This is the next area I'm looking in. Can you find anything that'd be cool DIY? -wide? And I'll probably use this in my green little juice. I'll show you how it ends up, because that's really cute. Got my eye on this, because I could make it like into like a little work board, but I don't think anything's gonna go into this. I feel like this is kind of cute, but am I allowed to take that? I wanna make a vending machine, or like an arcade game machine, because that kind of looks like an arcade game. I think I have an idea. I'm gonna make a beauty dispenser but I think I'm gonna make it for saber. Oh, this is not gonna work is it? How am I gonna make it like dispense it? Oh this is really tricky. How about we cut the rope off and it's kind of like a Pinterest board but like in real life. I don't know how that's gonna work so far. This is stressing me out. I can make like a motivational gift card. I put them all in this little box. I still like the idea of having a mini vending machine. As you know I'm making guinea pig sushi and it's got cucumber in it. I'm a big fan of cucumber. I also want to make a cucumber water. So I'm going to get two. I need a picnic blanket so bloody bad. I go in them all the time. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to make a motivational card thing because I made that last time. I'm going to make a treat jar. Okay, I ordered a green juice. Here's my drink. Mm, yummy. I even got a green straw. That's really good. It tastes like ginger and lemon and lime, but it also has like a kick of celery and kale into it. It's like hard to explain, but mm. what did I just find? Explain yourselves. Explain yourselves. It's time to cook. After this, I'm actually going, I'm gonna do some picnic studying and just stuff like that. The point is, let's cook. I'm gonna try to talk about something other than cooking, but I need to say this. I'm gonna be cooking the guinea pigs meals in this. Not be, oh my God, I'm talking about cooking again. I'm currently watching One Piece with Saki, which is so good. Now, some of the people probably think like anime is cringy and stuff like that. I so much. I'm begging Biggie to watch it, but he's like, yeah, it's cringe. Should I buy like a human, like an actual real sushi kit and do it for me? Make a real human sushi? Okay, with the leftovers, I'm actually going to make it into a cucumber water. Literally, I love cucumber water. My family thinks it's really stupid. They're like, it doesn't do anything good. But it tastes good, number one. It makes me want to taste good. It makes me like feel like I actually like hydrating because the taste is good. And number two, it does have benefits. We have cleaners coming over to our grandma's house soon. I need to hurry up. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do a DIY. No, I have to do that in my next video. No. Oh my, it's literally. Oh my god, I've literally made. 
made sushi for a guinea pig. I don't know if that's cool or not. But they're like these little burgers that I've made them with like raspberry and spinach. They just love it so much. And then I've also made them sushi. Picnic time. Hi, to move my picnic in the shade, even though you saw me assembling it in the sun. So ignore that. I really do like doing my study out of the house. I can think so much better. Hmm, he looks like he's enjoying it. Working his way through. Oh, he likes it peeled. Oh, he's getting into it. He likes it. Oh, that's so good. I think he loves it. Sometimes I study here and do homework and stuff like that. Um, so I have a self-care journal. I don't want him weighing on me because I am wearing the famous no statement. Oh, you had to say some pachetta. Greedy piggy. It is about self-care, so I try to write down like ideas I can do to self-care for myself. So let me read out some a thing or two. Things I do not love. Sleep-ins. I just don't like sleep-ins quite personally because they get me started on like a bad day. I don't know, I like waking up early in the morning. And I just wanted to say if you like go to school and you get like bullied there or whatever, I know how I know how you feel and it's like it's not nice. And I guess like I sometimes I like to tell myself I get, I don't know, but I just wanted to say like I'm here for you and I, I get it. I feel like it's nice you can come here and we can forget about all our worries. Did he do real me? You ate a little bit of tomato. And sometimes it's nice to know that people are like going through what you're going through. You can come to this channel and you can forget about those worries and we can have fun together. We can just shop for makeup and literally forget that any of the world exists. Do I really have a tomato seed in my hair? But yeah, let's forget about the bad things in life. And you can come to this channel and we can have fun. I really do mean that though, like just from like the bottom of my heart. It means so much when people just like watch my videos and just little stuff like that. And I just feel like if you are going through like any bullying or something like that, I am totally here for you and I just want to say I love you so much. So I'm back home and we're going to be researching the makeup products that we want to buy. I love makeup and skincare. I kind of like really like body care. Look at it. It's a high heel perfume. The travel set must be so bloody tiny because like their real stuff is really tiny. Okay, I'm going to add that to the shopping list because oh my god, I am a scream. Dude, she looks like my art teacher if she was like younger. That's trippy. Okay, that's enough online shopping, and then now it's time for some more real life shopping. I'm on the way. Oh my god, I felt so car sick in that Uber. I didn't want to ask to put the windows down. Oh my god, I, like, I almost threw up there, right there and then. Okay, my biggest fear is losing your phone in a Uber, because like you can't call the Uber to tell them like you left your phone in there. Yeah. And like your phone's just there. And like, especially if they've like, kind of already driven away. Alright, we're in the shops. Um, Super excited. First place we're going is Mecca. Mecca. Yeah. What are we looking for? Anything makeup, but like a natural sort of makeup. Okay, cool. So nothing too full on stuff. Like I don't want to get foundation or contour. I do want to get a blush. I don't kill my curtain bangs, but it looks like I have, and this one's a lot more curled than this one. And it kind of sits funny. I feel like I should have brushed my hair before I came here. Here's Mecca. I know I want to get the brush in quickie. Nice. Remember that? I don't mind this look. Ooh. I think you don't suit coral like that one. I think you suit like more of a red. Ooh, I don't mind that too one. Corally. Too corally. Yeah. Too red. Oh, Tilbury's really good, Naz. I heard a lot about the fullest filter. Yes, I have too. I think you're getting this online, so I have to start. Ooh, smell it. It smells really good. They have the rosy drops. <gasps> what do they do? Quick film, film, film. <gasps> I can't wait to have them in stock. Where are they? They're like little pink things. Oh. Let's see. I, I haven't heard much about the rosy drops before though. They give you like a glow. <gasps> they make you all pink. Ah, it's out. Do they have them in stock? No, that sucks. Oh. I kind of want this palette because look at all the, the shimmery colors. It looks so cool. So, so far, I didn't really love anything in Mecca. I do want to get that alien mascara, but I can't really try it on. It's more of like a try it out sort of thing. They all low-key look the same. That was me like literally not that long ago. At normal primer and the blushes. I want to get work. I do think this looks pretty cool. Legendary high beam. I wonder what Nice is going to do. I really, really love that palette. How pretty. That was great for $80. Yeah. <sighs> How much is it? $34. Oh, Naz has found the dewy skin stuff. Dewy set. 
Is it? So it kind of gives a glitter. Just. Ah. So I've got all my makeup. I'm so happy with it all. Let me go. Oh, I don't mind. I'm so excited to show you it. Can you see what I got? Okay, so now it's time to go home and test out all the new makeup that I got. I'm so excited. You need to stay tuned. Can you see Cheddar sleeping? I mean, time to test the makeup. So I ended up getting the milk entire like little holiday pack. Summer favorites. It comes with so much. And I also got this mini dewy set. I'm honestly not sure what I'm more excited for. Because they're both very, very cute. They are mini stuff. The kids got like this like reusable bag. This is an ad or anything. Um, and then I got a blush, a highlighter, a brow gel, a mascara, and a primer. Like that's a very good deal. It was 80 bucks, but I think it was worth it. It does feel nice. Oh, I do like the primer. It feels like, I feel primed. Here's the brows, finally a clear brow gel. I'm so sick of like pigmented ones. It's also got like a mini brush, so it like makes your brows look better. I like that. That looks pretty good. It makes my eyebrows look darker too. Actually, I've seen a lot of people struggling with getting this lid thingy off. So let's see if I can get mine off first go with no complaints. <gasps> Easy. I didn't even have to try. Well, this is the highlighter. It's a stick, which I also wanted to find today. Oh, I like it. It doesn't do too much, but that's kind of what I wanted. Okay. I I like it. This is kind of like the real size. I don't know if this is a mini. Let's see if I get this lid off. Easy. I don't know why people complain. Okay, now we have a blush. I've never, ever had a blush. Oh, it kind of highlights a little bit. The only thing is I'm naturally pretty red. Do I really need to make myself more red? I asked myself that question. People just like blush, so. People like blush, but I like it. Ooh, now the milk mascara. Ooh. Why does it have like little hairs in it? Like obviously it hasn't been used. That's weird. Um, okay, so this is no mascara, this is mascara. I think that we have a clear winner. I actually really like it. I like it, the only thing I don't like about it is it's pretty smudgy, um, which means it's gonna run. I do like doing my bottom lashes, so I wouldn't do lashes. And I feel like there's not much product in here. I don't know, there probably is, but it just feels like that. I liked everything except the mascara. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. Let me show you, it's so hard to explain. Just look at the packaging. This is a setting spray, which I told you I would never buy one, but I bought one. Yeah, that's a full face of makeup with the stuff I got today. This highlighter, mwah, I, like I literally want to repurchase more milk stuff just because of the highlighter. Probably my favorite. But I look very dewy and fresh, but not oily. You know, like the difference between oily and all that? And back to like the bullying thing I was talking about earlier. If you are going through anything like that, I just want to let you know I'm here for you. And I think I've been through like some hard times. They're horrible and like it just sucks. Some people are mean. There's a lot of good people out there. It's just mean people are very loud. I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Catch me in a course.